Are you worried about being Zoom bombed? It's become a problem online. It, for me as a K-12 teacher, I wanna make sure that doesn't happen to me. So let me show you how to manipulate the Zoom settings to help you to not get Zoom bombed. So here I am inside of my settings on Zoom. So these are the online settings, not to be confused with over here, the actual Zoom app. I'm on a Mac, but you, so you gotta be in the browser. What you're looking for is something called the waiting room. As a note, if you're an educator like I am, the Zoom virtual classroom, they've already checked this, but it's just important to toggle down, 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 and you want to find the thing that says waiting room. And here it is, this business about the waiting room. So at this point right here, it's very important to make sure that this is checked. Now let's take a look at what it would look like as I'm letting students into the room. So what you can notice is I was letting my students into my classroom one at a time. Now, I would encourage you also to have a very frank conversation with your students about why you are doing the waiting room thing. It's really important that you have them actually type out their real name. I had one student who tried to come in with kind of a funny cutesy name and I said you can't do that because uh, actually I didn't let them in and they said why didn't you let me in and I said well it's because you could have been somebody else. And so I told them what was happening with Zoom bombing, high school students. So anyways, Zoom bombing. Don't let Zoom bombing happen to you.